These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for October 6, 2019. The blog post this week is on Alexander von Humboldt in Central Park. It honors one of the most famous scientists and intellectuals of the 19th century. Second recommendation, Andre del Verrocchio's Puto with a Dolphin, created around 1465 to 1480. This is one of my favorite works by Verrocchio, and it's temporarily on view in Washington, D.C. Its frivolous subject reminds me that although the artists of the Italian Renaissance were in the main very religious, they were also beginning to create works that had no aim except to please. The exhibition Andrea del Verrocchio, Sculptor Painter of Renaissance Florence, is on view at the National Gallery until February the 2nd, 2020. Third recommendation, Burton Braley's poem, The Thinker. I usually like to present you with less familiar works than The Thinker, but this week's fourth recommendation for my supporters is an excerpt from Braley's autobiography that explains how he came to write The Thinker. And it's never a bad thing to reread an old favorite. So, The Thinker by Burton Braley. Back of the beating hammer by which the steel is wrought, back of the workshop's clamor, the seeker may find the thought, the thought that is ever master of iron and steam and steel, that rises above disaster and tramples it under heel. The drudge may fret and tinker or labor with lusty blows, but back of him stands the thinker, the clear-eyed man who knows. For into each plow or saber, each piece and part and whole, must go the brains of labor, which gives the work a soul. Back of the motors humming, back of the bells that sing, back of the hammers drumming, back of the cranes that swing, there is the eye which scans them, watching through stress and strain. There is the mind which plans them, back of the brawn, the brain. Might of the roaring boiler, force of the engine's thrust, strength of the sweating toiler, greatly in these we trust. But back of them stands the schemer, the thinker who drives things through, back of the job, the dreamer who's making the dream come true. DianeDurantyWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, Central Park, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL online or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work on a recurring basis and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on DianeDurantyWriter.com. Thank you, as always, for listening.